Today I'm going to work with wood or bamboo, three projects. Now bamboo though is put into the category of wood, but technically it is a grass. And it's a very sustainable way of decorating and using in home furnitures because it grows very fast. It's very strong as well. Now my first piece is this piece of bamboo, which is one and a half feet tall. It is taken from the base. I had it cut. You can see some root portions jetting out. It's kind of little dull and dirty, but I like the look of this rooty thing. I had it cut such that it stands tall on the ground and on the top there is a small hole and I'm going to turn it into a vase. My second piece is this small one. Now these rooty portion as you see here also these are called nodes and it's kind of closed from there and in between the bamboo stays hollow. So this, this portion that you saw is the hollow portion. It will have this tube will close here at the node. Again there will be some hollow portion and closed at the nodes. So for the second piece I have taken a portion of bamboo from the middle part. Now in between the nodes this is the hollow portion and I had it cut at an angle like this angle like this and also with the node so I got a piece like this so it's closed from the bottom and hollow from the top and because of this slant cut it gets a beautiful shape I not only had it cut like this I also drilled a hole through it I don't have the clip because I did this project some time back and then it was just sitting in my stash for a while so time to take it out and use it so this can be used just as it is to hold a few items or I have a better idea for this. Let me introduce you to the third piece of bamboo. This is a small piece of bamboo again the node portion which is closed here and the middle portion which is hollow. This is further up the bamboo so therefore it's thin and this is the third piece. Now all three pieces are a bit dull so I'm going to clean them first with soapy water, uh, a cloth, damp cloth in soapy water, clean it and then I'll just varnish it. Now this portion is uh, rough and is also dirty. So first before wiping it with damp cloth, I'm going to use some sandpaper and sand it up, uh, smoothen it up so it's to get a neater finish and then I'll coat it with varnish. Bamboo is so low maintenance. Just a little bit of cleaning has done so much wonders to this pieces. Now I'm going to add a coat of varnish on all of three. This is next day. I left the varnish. I coated the varnish and left it for about more than 12 hours for it to dry properly so that there's a beautiful shine. You can see it's just glowing. It's shining so beautifully. I've put an even coat and did not touch it. It's so important to let it rest and dry properly. Otherwise, there will be this finger marks and it will be smudgy and not so beautifully shining, so gorgeous. Now, what I used is a gold shine premium enamel varnish. This is what I use on my furnitures and wood for this beautiful shine. For the next step, I'm going to add little jute string to all of these. So I'm using some PVA glue and applying it onto the base and some binding up some jute strings around it. So just starting with one end and gradually we'll be going all over it. And just glue it there. It will just give it a nice finished look. My today's video is part of the What Would You Make DIY Challenge being hosted by Zana from OK At Home DIY, Kony from Kony's Cre Creative Creations and their guest host this month is Marika from Marika Creations. I'll put links to all the three channels down in my description box. So here I have just closed it 
and not just close to it I'm adding little more glue and using my finger and applying it over all the jute rope this little step is going to take care of all the frayed jutes uh, here that is like unruly pieces not only that will keep it glued together very neatly and will give it a little shine and finished look once it dries up something like sealing with decoupage glue so i'm going to do this to all the three pieces and let this dry properly i'm going to add it to the base of this piece and on this one because the roots are already there which look very nice I'm just going to add the jute string on the top neck portion of the base. The final reveal, my big bamboo vase is so beautiful. I can add artificial flowers to it or even better idea. I can just insert an empty plastic bottle inside, fill it with water and I can put pothos or money plant in it it looks absolutely gorgeous this makes a beautiful home decor with wood and plants so pretty i told you i have a better idea with this piece instead of making just a holder a pen stand or something like that i'm adding a piece of bulb attachment with wire and just hang it for a hanging pendant light. This adds so much beauty, aesthetics to any room, any corner, any place. This is just so beautiful. And I love the warmth that it spreads. This little piece of bamboo turned out to be a pretty dainty little vase. I'm adding some artificial flowers here and it can be added to any corner or space in the home for a beautiful decor. I hope you enjoyed my today's wood slash bamboo ideas for home decor and will be inspired to try some. Do let me know in the comment section below and please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you're new, do subscribe. Thank you so much everybody and have a blessed day.